Hi, my name is Ashwin from the Code Bakery. I'm going to be covering C++, and today we're going to be doing a project on simple login. So we're going to basically create a simple login type input and output. All right, so let's get started. So at the top, you already see that I have the include IO stream and the using namespace as TD. These are the two things that are needed at the top for C++. And we also have our int main, which is where all of our programming code goes into. So we're gonna start by defining some variables. We're gonna use string username. And we're gonna define the password. And we also have int login attempt. So we're gonna make it start off with the login attempt of zero. And once we're gonna make it more secure by making it so that once the user logs in five times, it automatically locks in. So we got zero to start off with. Then we're gonna use this while loop over here to make it so that while there's still five login attempts, Gonna use this five and put the main code inside of here. So in C, in order to add in order to like ask for input, we type C out and we use the two arrows here and we ask please enter your username. And then it's gonna ask the user for their username. And then we're gonna put the syntax by putting the colon at the end. And so we're gonna ask for username. We're gonna take the username input. We're gonna tie it to that variable up there. And so next we're gonna ask for password. your user password then we're gonna tie that variable together you notice how the arrows are going both are different ways for input and output that's how the syntax works for C++ And next, we're gonna we're gonna define some um, possible usernames. So um, I'm gonna go with if username with the Greg, just the example name. And also, we have to make tie the password to it. So let's just make it username. Um, and then one, two, three. Two and symbols here. And user password. Oh, I have a syntax. User password. One, two, three. I'm gonna put it like that. Then it, if the username and password is equal to these, it's gonna ask, it's gonna say their name and it's gonna say welcome. And we're also gonna make another one after this. I'm gonna fix this parenthesis here. We're gonna output Welcome Greg, if this, this condition right here is met. If the username is equal to Greg, and also if the password is Greg123. And we put the slash n in order to make a next line at the end. And then we're also gonna break it here if the condition is met so that it doesn't result in an infinite loop then the program will run also the IDE will stop responding 
All right, continuing on, we're going to write another, make another user. We're gonna write else if the username equal to, let's give it Bob. And also let's make it so that the password is also the same the one two three at the end so bob one two three is the password and we're also going to do the same thing here where we're going to make it so that it outputs which user signed in depending on whether they typed in the password information correct or not so i may see out We're also going to make it next line here too. We're going to break it right here to not result in an infinite loop again. And next, we're going to make an else statement for if either the password or the username are wrong. So that's going to be if th these two are entered, it's going to output back to the user that there's invalid login attempt. So let's make it so that if none of these conditions above are met, it's gonna output the wrong input. So say invalid login attempts. We'll say please try again. And then make that next line as well. gonna use the same slashes here too this is the other slash instead of the I mean, syntax error here yeah so these this is the type of slash they use it's the other way around now we're gonna go login attempts and we're gonna say I'm gonna attempt plus plus so that it, it, gives, it returns the amount of attempts. We know that it's counting from there. And we're gonna make another if statement login attempts equal to five. Then we're gonna output that there were too many login login attempts and then the program is going to terminate from there once this condition is met and we're also going to return zero in order for the program to restart again. And if once the user either logs in or if it doesn't log in, it's going to, once it successfully logs in, it's gonna say, thank you for logging in. You can add that at the end without putting that inside the statements. Make this next line. And now that's our program. Okay, now let's try running the program. So now that's done, hit run and it says enter username, type Greg. Now let's first try typing the password wrong or typing it right. Let's see if it works. And it says welcome Greg, thank you for logging in. That's the code right here and then that program breaks now let's try seeing what happens if we type the password wrong let's run it let's type in greg type in 
drag one, two, three, four. It says invalid login attempt. So now let's try if it works for Bob. Bob. Bob one two three. It says welcome Bob. Thank you for logging in. So we can see this is a simple login system here. And it's really easy to make.